So Matt Rempe is suspended for four games on a hit on Siegenthaler. And there's not too much of an excuse you can make for Rempe on this play. Goes for a hit. He's trying to carve out himself a fourth line NHL role. But you can't put your elbow out there and hit a guy directly in the head. He does deserve that suspension. And for a guy that's only got 10 games played at the NHL level, he's already surrounded with a bunch of controversy. Because a couple weeks earlier, playing those same New Jersey Devils, he had a hit on Bastion where he got ejected. Now, I could argue the Bastion hit, Rempe didn't jump into it, he didn't raise his elbow, he just hit Bastion who had his head down, but it still was direct contact to the head and you can't do that. When I watch Rempe, I admire the physicality he brings and I understand he's trying to play that gritty role on the Rangers, but if he's not careful, he could find himself out of the league altogether. Now, do I think he's a dirty player? I think that's a little bit too early to be determined. I mean, he's a six foot seven kid, only 21 years old, and needs to learn how to play with that much size at the NHL level. A guy like Rempe, if you threw it back even 10 years ago, would be loved for this type of physicality, but the game has changed and we're more aware of the long-term ramifications of head injuries in athletes. I know some Ranger fans could argue that hit against Bastion was textbook to a lot of them, but for a guy of Rempe's size, I think he needs to learn how to hold up. And I think that's what happened here with the Siegenthaler hit. He's trying his hardest to play a physical brand of hockey, and I think he's trying a little bit too hard. While it might be great to get a hit against Siegenthaler, really, what does that do for the play itself? Not much. Yes, you get a body check on him, you tire him out a bit more, I understand that, but Rempe needs to learn when to lit up. I love Rempe's energy. I love the passion he brings to the game. He understands that he's not gonna be a top six guy. I mean, in juniors, he was a half a point per game player. So a guy like Rempe is going to have to embrace the suck. Even with the Hartford Wolfpack this season in 43 games played, he only had 12 points. Can he be a good fourth liner? Absolutely. But this is never going to be someone that leads the league in scoring. He works hard. He's dedicated to both ends of the ice. He's everything you want in a fourth line player. But if he doesn't learn when to lit up, he could find himself quickly out of the league. Because while yes, you want your gritty players to have the mentality that they're willing to fight anybody, what good does it do the Rangers if he's constantly in the box or constantly suspended? And quite frankly, watching Zidane Char for years and years, he ran into very similar issues. Due to his size, a lot of the hits that were quote unquote illegal for Chara would have been completely legal for a player about eight inches shorter. All in all, I think the suspension could be a good thing for Rempe. Maybe this will make him evaluate his game and understand when and where to lay out these type of hits. But I'd like to know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Do you think this suspension will make Rempe calm down a bit? Or do you think he'll always be surrounded with controversy? I'm Cat Nepal. See you in the next one.